Hello students, let's do natural numbers and whole numbers. Exercise 4E. Page number 41. Question 3. See the following pattern carefully. So here we have some figures and they are in the form of a pattern. So we have to observe this pattern. So this is figure 1. From figure 1, we have the figure 2 where there is a change in pattern. And then figure 3 and figure 4, they have formed a particular pattern. Now, what is the question we need to answer? The question is, if n denotes a number of squares, that means if n is each figure, this is figure 1, this is figure 2, this is figure 3, this is figure 4, and that is n. Let's continue with the question. And s denotes a number of math sticks. In each figure, we have math sticks. 1, 2, 3. We have to count the number of math sticks. Then the question says, find S in terms of N. Okay, so we have to find a relation between S and N. So let's draw a table first. So we have a table. And then let's have in the first row N and the second row S. So N is the figure. So this is the first figure, second, third and the fourth figure. Now let's write it here on the table. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now in the first figure, how many math sticks do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. In the first figure, we have 7 math sticks. In the second one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 math sticks. In the third one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 is the third figure. In the last one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have 16 math sticks in the fourth figure. So figure 1, we have 7 math sticks. Figure 2, we have 10. Figure 3, 13 and figure 4, 16. Now we have to observe this carefully and see what we can notice here. Now what do you notice? From 7 to 10, it is 3, isn't it? 7 plus 3. So 7 plus 3 gives us 10. 10 plus 3 gives us 13. 13 plus 3 gives us 16. So we have the number 3. That means to find the value or the relation between S and N, let's start by saying S is equal to 3. Now, let's take 3 times N. That means 3 into N, into each figure. Now, plus what? Plus what will give us these numbers? So, let's take the first one. So, in the first one, S is equal to 7, isn't it? So, that means 3 into, the first one means N is 1. Plus what? Plus what will give us 7? So let me name that as x. So 7 is equal to 3 ones are 3 plus x. So now we're going to find the value of x. So x is equal to, we'll write 7 as it is, and we'll move this 3 plus 3 to the other side, it becomes minus 3. So x is equal to 4. So in the first step, that is the first step, x is equal to 3 into n plus what? Plus 4. So let's do that. Let's write it there. So this is the relation between s and n. s is equal to 3n or 3 into n plus 4. Now we have to see whether that holds true for all the figures. For the first figure, it's correct. Now let's find for the second figure. So let's use this formula to find the answer to the second figure to see if this is correct. So in the second figure, we have 10 math sticks, isn't it? 10. So let's use this formula and see 3 into, this time n is 2, plus 4. 10 is equal to 3 twos are 6, plus 4. So 10 is equal to 10. It's correct, isn't it? Both sides are equal. So this relation is correct. S is equal to 3 times n plus 4. It's correct for the first one and the second one. Let's work out the third one and see. In the third one, the number of math sticks is 13. That means S is 13. So let's use that. S is equal to 13. 
which is equal to 3 into n. n this time is the third figure plus 4. So let's see both sides are 13. So 13 here, 3 threes are 9 plus 4. So 13 is equal to 9 plus 4 is 13. So both sides are equal. That means this relation is correct even for the third figure. Now let's see the fourth one, 16. The number of math sticks is 16 in this case. Let's see if this formula will work for this one also. So S is the number of math sticks. So we have 16 math sticks. Now let's see whether the other side is also 16. 3 into N is the fourth figure. So 3 into 4 plus 4. So this is 16 is equal to 3 4s are 12 plus 4. So we have 16 is equal to 12 plus 4 is 16. Both sides are equal. That means this relation is correct. So we have checked this relation for all four figures and we have found it to be correct. So this will be our answer. That is the relation between S and N is this. 3 times N is 3N plus 4. So this will be our final answer where we are saying that the relation between S and N is 3N plus 4. So keeping this in mind, we're going to work out the next question. So 3n plus 4 is the number of math sticks in each row. Okay. Now, we have to find out how many math sticks are required to make the 15th figure. Remember the first four figures we found out? Now, to, fi to find out how many math sticks are needed in the 15th figure, we have to use that relation between s and n. So S is equal to 3N plus 4. So S is number of math sticks, isn't it? So we're going to find the number of math sticks by using this formula. So 3N means 3 into N and this time N is the 15th figure. So 3 into 15 plus 4. So S is equal to 3 into 15. 3 15s are 45 plus 4. So S is equal to 45 plus 4 is 49. So we have found out that there will be 49 math sticks in the 15th figure. Now let's go to the next part. How many math sticks will there be in the 40th figure? So again we are going to use this formula to find out the number of math sticks. Remember S is the number of math sticks. So let's use the formula S is equal to 3N plus 4. So we are going to find the number of math sticks S. 3n means 3 into n. And what is the value of n? n is the 40th figure. So 40. 3 into 40 plus 4. So s is equal to 3 into 40. 40 threes are 120. That plus 4. So s is equal to 124. So this is our answer. The number of math sticks in the 40th row will be 124. Question 3. Write a description of the pattern in words. Okay, so we have the pattern in figures. That is, S is the number of math sticks. This is equal to 3 times the number of the figure plus 4. This is the pattern that we have. Now, let's write this in words. The number of math sticks, S is equal to 4 more than 3 times the number of the figure N. The number of math sticks S is equal to 4 more than, plus 4 means 4 more than 3 times, 3 times the number of the figure N. So this is the pattern and we have described that pattern in words. Question 4. In that, the first one, in the following pattern, draw the next two figures. So let's observe the question given to us. So here we have figure 1 figure 2 and figure 3. Let's see what pattern has been followed. So again, math sticks have been used and the number of math sticks have increased from here to here and from here to here. Now we need to find out by how much it has increased. So let's count the number of math sticks in the first figure. So this is figure 1, figure 2 and figure 3. So the number of math sticks, 1, 2. So here it's 2, here it is 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So observe the pattern and see. We can make out that 2 plus 2 is 4. 
4 plus 2 is 6. That means it's increasing by 2 matchsticks. So 6 plus 2 will be 8. 8 plus 2 will be 10. So we know what the next two patterns, the next two figures are going to be like. So let's get the next figure. Okay, so let's count and see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So here we have 8 matchsticks. So we have now 2 and then 4, 6, 8. So the next one will be 10. So let's get that. So here we have 10. And let's count and see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we've got 10. So this is how we complete the pattern by observing the first few uh, figures that are already given to us. Now, the next one, construct a table. We've been asked to construct a table to describe the figures in the above pattern. So we need to make a table to show that these are the figures. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 figures and the number of matchsticks used are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So let's have the table. So this is our table and 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are the figures. Now L stands for the number of matchsticks in each figure. In figure 1, the number of matchsticks is 2. In figure 2, 4. Figure 3, 6. Figure 4, 8. And figure 5, it is 10. So this is a table. That is used to describe the figures in the pattern that's given to us. Question 3. If N denotes a number of figures and L denotes a number of matchsticks, find L in terms of N. So we saw in the table that we drew earlier that the difference between the number of matchsticks is 2. It's increasing by 2, isn't it? So now if we have to show the relation between L and N, we'll say the number of matchsticks will be equal to 2 times N. Okay, since the difference is 2, it's 2 times N and we can find the number of matchsticks by using this formula. Now we are asked to find the number of matchsticks first in the 12th figure and then in the 20th figure. So we just have to apply this formula to find. So the number of matchsticks L is equal to 2 times n. That means l is equal to 2 times n, isn't it? So 2 into, let's substitute n for 12 because 12th figure. So 2 into 12. So l is 2 twelfths are 24. So l is the number of matchsticks. So how many matchsticks are there in the 12th figure? There are 24 matchsticks in the 12th figure. So let's go to the next question. So here in the 20th figure, how many matchsticks will you find? Use the same formula, L is equal to 2N. So L is equal to 2 into N and N is 20 because it's the 20th figure, 20. So L is equal to 2 into 20 is 40. So the number of matchsticks in the 20th figure will be 40. So with this children, we come to the end of this lesson. I hope all of you have understood patterns. Thank you children.